What is going on YouTube, Stipe here today with another video and today I'm going to be talking about there was some, some comments, actually there was a lot of comments and I thought that it would be a good idea to maybe do a, a little bit of a video on it and do some research on it um, and uh, talk about the bad weld recall that the JL Wranglers do have. Now, um, if you are watching this video, you probably already knew about it. Um, most people have been talking about it. And um, my last video was kind of why the um, JLs were not selling that great. And um, I gave my opinion on it and everyone was starting to say, oh no, it's because there's too many recalls, this and that. You're wrong, because um, the JLs have actually sold fairly well. What I meant by it is, is it's not selling as well as dealers expected. A lot of dealers here um, ordered a lot more than what they were told was supposed to be sold. They are selling. That's I'm not trying to say they're not selling. They're not selling as well as dealers thought they would. And um, now everyone's blaming this bad weld recall um, of course because that is a huge recall that's a huge problem without a doubt um, that is probably one of the worst things that can happen um, when building a vehicle is having a bad weld on the frame so that is not it, it's a problem for sure it can hurt sales it does probably hurt it a little bit but that's not why it's hurting them drastically i mean the price is hurting it more than anything and people need to understand that and um a lot of people are just trying to say it's the recalls and this and that in fact i have a fact for you and you can check this um there was a source saying that uh there was more recalls on the jk in the first year than there are in the jl when it first came out not to mention the Grand Cherokee, when it was redesigned in, I believe it's 2011 when they redesigned it, had twice as many recalls as the JL did this year. There is a lot worse cars out there in a first year model that have more recalls. The, the Jeep Compass, in fact, had more recalls last year than this did. Um, so again, you cannot blame recalls for it being a problem. There's a reason why it's called a recall is because it gets fixed. Chrysler announced that that is a problem and they fix it. So obviously there's going to be recalls in the first year of a first year model. I mean, they test it and they do a bunch of things and they make sure that everything's right. But the thing is, is nothing is a better test until the longevity and long term of a vehicle. Then you start to realize the problems that they may have, right? Because now I'm sure there's some JLs that have maybe 30, 40,000 kilometers on them already if you're driving them a lot. And as you know, a little bit of wear and tear happens, you eventually start to realize that, hey, you know, this is becoming a problem. We're starting to notice in a lot of these cars that are past 25,000 kilometers. And then they assess it they look at it and then they go okay yeah we got to do a recall on this so it's very common this weld one though wasn't it that case um i'm sure it i'm pretty sure what happened was they started to realize it um from a factory perspective and realized that you know the machine was not welding correctly so why chrysler didn't ins inspect it a little bit more further i don't know there was a huge chunk i think eighteen thousand jeeps were affected by it i'm pretty sure um, so, I mean, that's, that's a big problem. Um, it doesn't happen very often. It happens, um, you know, commonly with new models, but I mean, you know, everyone's now bashing the JL and this and that. I've driven the JL and the JK. Trust me, the JL is still a great vehicle. No matter what anyone says, every customer that has bought one from us, I know they absolutely love their vehicle. Um, you know, I just wanted to clear it up and tell people, you know, it's not because of the bad wealth. And I know there's going to be haters and I know there's going to be people who are going to comment down below. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just trying to boost for sales. I'm not. If you look at my other videos, I've said bad things about the JL and stuff that I don't like about it. And yeah, you know what? Recalls and stuff suck. But you know what? As a first year model, you have to understand. The real test for me is how will this Wrangler react when it's at 100,000 miles? Then I will like to see, and that'll be the true test to me on whether it's a good car or not. Because all these people start bashing in the first five minutes of seeing the vehicle, but you know what? Is this car gonna be more reliable than let's say, I don't know, that Lincoln or that Ford or the Nissan, right? Etc. Is it gonna be more reliable than those cars after 100,000 miles? That's the true question. That's the true test of a car. People keep their cars only for a year or two. So why do you care on what's gonna happen to it eventually down the road? If you're someone like me who likes to keep their cars and likes to see what it can actually do, then, then yes, you wanna be like me and see what the true test is. 
bad recalls in a first year model is not the end of the world and people need to understand that and people freak out way too much on a lot of vehicles when this happens. That's my input for it today guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the video and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks.